listen to the sounds of the birds. We hadn't started working on this job yet. Let me back up a little bit. The job called for pruning this large Siberian elm up on the right here, as well as pruning all the dead fronds out of this fan palm. And when I looked closely, I saw these little nests up underneath the fronds and then realized when I saw the birds flying around that this is a habitat for Orioles. And in our area, Orioles are quite, they're quite rare. We don't see Orioles very often. They're a beautiful bird and I had to look very closely to see any. So I brought the client back out. She says, oh no, no, don't touch that palm tree if there's nests up there. So not only did we have to leave the palm tree alone, which was a smart thing to do, we had to be careful not to drop any branches on this tree. Now, a lot of people ask me about our associations with dealing with wildlife in the trees, you know, whether it be bird nests or squirrels nests or, you know, God forbid, rats nests. We run into all kinds of animals and we have to be very careful. Um, there's times of the year that it's better not to do work and if we identify bird nests that are active then we'll quite often uh, prolong the job and put it off till another time when the, the the nests have been abandoned or the the young have hatched and moved on but there are some nests that are, are kind of perennial like like the the nests that are built by some of the raptors and we used to do a lot of work for the Santa Clara Valley Water District and one of the things that they had us do was um, to have their resident ornithologist, which is an expert on birds, come out and inspect all the trees with binoculars looking for different types of nests and especially the raptor's nests. If there was a, a hawk's nest or any kind of a bird of prey that you know uses the same nest year after year, we couldn't do the job. We, we had to hold, hold off. Um, which made it very difficult to, to work in those conditions. And it's becoming more so and more so. The, the protection of wildlife is becoming very, very critical. Well, I agree with this woman, and her backyard was a bird paradise. The peace and the quiet and seeing all these little birds. There's one. I, I finally caught an Oriole on camera. They're so elusive. They're so hard to see. There was uh, both the females and the males were flitting around. And did you know it's just the females that build the nests? Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.